Hagen, and Brother Hagen, very reliable teacher, pastor, lovely man. They were very sorry at this having a revival during time of our campaign, but they've had it staged for about a year, and they had to go ahead through with it. So it's perfectly all right, but we want to show them our love, that we love them. We're not divided in this work of the Lord. We're all together, one body are we, moving on. And uh, every morning at 10 to 11 o'clock, they're having services there, and the, Brother Hagin this morning is teaching on divine healing, which had a marvelous message. I sure appreciate it. Right. My first time of knowing ever getting to shake hands with a brother, but a mighty fine man. I know it happened 50 some odd years ago, but it seemed like it happened last Saturday night. It's just as real as if it happened to me last night. Spiritual things never grow old. Down until the darkness encompassed me around about. Until you couldn't see your hand if there's one inch in front of your face. And the further down you went, the harder it became. Until finally down beneath you, you saw fingers of light playing on the walls of darkness. And you came to the bottom of the pit. And then there's an incline that goes down further. And down you floated towards those gates. I can see them yet. Once you go through those gates, I knew it couldn't come back. I was lying in bed. I'd been sick all the week. In fact, I'd been sickly all my life. Never ran and prayed like other little children. Well, limitedly, but not fully. And, and, and the doctors had been called. Doctors made house calls. But Dr. Wysong, old Dr. W.S. Wysong Sr., he was over at the hospital. Well, they contacted him there, and he said he'd come to our house as soon as he got through at the hospital, making his calls. So they're waiting for him to come. And Grandpa's clock struck 7.30. My heart stopped. Faster than I can tell you. The circulation cut all the way down at the end of my, my toes just suddenly, like your feet go to sleep, they just went numb. Faster than I can tell it. My toes, my feet, my ankles, my knees, my hips, my stomach. And I leaped out of my body like a man would leap off of a diving board into a swimming pool. I leaped out of my body and I began to descend like you're going down in a well or in a cavern. And so I'm descending, feet first, descending, down, 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 until the lights of the earth faded away from above me, until darkness encompassed me around about. Darkness is so dark, you couldn't see your hand if there's one inch in front of your face. Darkness, it was so dense that it seemed if you had a knife, you could just cut a chunk of it out. And the further down you went, the darker and the hotter it became. Till finally way down beneath me, on the wall of darkness, I could see fingers of light playing on the wall of darkness. I got born again on the bed of sickness, the 22nd day of April, 1933, at 20 minutes to 8 o'clock in the south bedroom of 405 North College Street in the city of McKinney, Texas. I'm 15, I'd be 16 in August. And my heart stopped. When my heart stopped, I felt the circulation cut, you know, faster than you can tell it, faster than you can snap your finger. Cut off my, my feet, my toes and my feet just went numb like you'd gone to sleep. And up to my knees and my stomach. My, and I leaped out of my body. And I began to, I began to descend. And then I came up, head first, floating up. I could see the lights of the earth before I came to the top of the pit. Then I came up on the porch outside the south bedroom. I could see the giant cedar trees there in the yard. I could see Grandpa's porch swing there on the porch. And then I seemed to just come right through the wall and jump inside my body like a man would slip his foot inside of his boot in the morning time. And when I got back inside my body, then I said to my grandmother, my voice, this natural voice picked up the word. I said, Granny, I'm going again and I won't come back. She said, son, I thought you weren't coming back that time. I got born again on the bed of sickness the 22nd day of April, 1933, at 20 minutes to 8 o'clock in the south bedroom of 405 North College Street in the city of McKinney, Texas. I know 
might happen 50 some odd years ago, but it seemed like it happened last Saturday night. It's just as real as if it happened to me last night. Spiritual things never grow old. Down until the darkness encompassed me around about.